All right, guys, we're out here. This is Eric. Just <laughs> met Eric a minute ago. Here we go, pound it. He hit me up on Facebook to help him build the rock wall, so we're gonna get right to it. He went out and bought all the wood today. He's got a nice little area back here. Picked out a good spot. Now we're gonna start screwing all the wood together to get a frame built. All right, we got our basic frame built here, the rectangle on the outside. Next, we're doing 16 on center joist all the way down. Next is gonna be plywood. All right, look at this. The frame is built. 16 on center all the way down, 10 feet tall, eight feet wide. Next, we're gonna throw the plywood on it, make sure it's all centered. Maybe start digging holes to get this thing vertical. All right, surface is done. Just playing with the sander for a minute. Heavy as hell, we just moved it into position. It's gonna be kind of just tilted up from where it is. Started getting some nice deep holes, about three, three and a half feet each. Definitely some deep holes. Gonna go pick up some concrete and get these support beams set into the ground. All right, we just picked up some concrete and we are gonna go the easy route. Oh no, we're not, we're gonna mix it on the bucket. Starting over. All right, we just picked up some concrete. Next, we are about to fill these holes. Get our bottom supports in. All right, we're mixing the crete. Mixing the crete and dumping it in the holes. This is all braced so it stays level, nice and even. Three foot deep holes. Filling them with concrete. Here it comes. Just like that. Get a little vibration going. by tapping the sides. We're gonna let that settle overnight and get back to this project either tomorrow or Wednesday. But when we come back, these will be rock solid. Guys, nice sturdy anchors. I can't wait to climb on my thin new rock wall. All right, here is the next day. Got a bunch of holes drilled in it. We just uh, flipped it over, we sanded the back. The poles set overnight, those are nice and hard now. About to take all of this off and let them free stand. And it's about to start raining here soon, so I don't think we're gonna get started on these holes. We're gonna wait till tomorrow. Easy day today, but we'll be back at it. Showing up for day three. 
Eric was busy yesterday. He painted this whole thing real nice. Bought some weird concrete kind of paint and like smushed it in to get some texture. I don't know if you can if that shows up or oh it does. Kind of neat. The holes for the big poles are dug, three feet each. So now we're about to set them in, get them all braced up, and get ready to pour the creek. All right, here we go. Everything is rock solid, nice and level. Double checked, all braced up and supported. This beam right here is exactly eight feet, so that fits perfectly in between it. All measured out in between these, everything's nice and square. About to start mixing the concrete again. Pour it in the hole. Let her rip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully it goes in the hole. Looking good. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. That's looking good. Concrete's right about an inch or two below the surface. That'll cover nicely and it's all pressure treated wood, so. And it's gonna get painted. Now the other side. All right, the crete is in. Good. And we did it with like minimal bracing. If you're doing this yourself, I would recommend maybe a little more. We're really scrapping around for wood here. All right, we're gonna let it settle just like this overnight with all the bracing on it. And next time we're out here, we're gonna be doing the heavy work. All right, we're back out here again. Hopefully for the final day. Everything's in place, painted, secure, ready to go. Just gotta figure out how we're gonna get this heavy thing attached. All right, everything's in place for the big move here. Getting ready to put this up that way. We're gonna jack it up to get the top connected and then pivot the bottom to connect it to the back poles. Might not have explained that very well, but hopefully it worked. Two, three. Lock it, lock it, lock it. Keep going. Push, 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 push. All right, you gotta really hold it. Put all your weight, put, really push on that thing. I'm going behind to make sure it's connected. Going up. Get that pressure on it. Yep, keep it on there, buddy. You got it. Keep it on there. All right. That was tough, but we got it up and bolts it in one bolt on this side one bolt on the other side for now what the plan from here is is to tilt it back connect the bottoms here and then we're going to be putting a second bolt 
on each one to make it sturdy and then a couple cross braces just to hold everything together at the end but it is looking good all right all pulled back holes drilled bolts in there's going to be two bolts at every connection we just have one on for now Looking good though. The temporary brace is gonna be replaced. And a kick plate is going on. But it's really shaping up. It's like day four out here, I think. Eric's done a little bit by himself on days I wasn't here. Using some nice brackets here. It's done. A couple just little touch up things to do. Repaint this, cut the excess off, paint the bottom here. A couple little flakes on the front came off while we were moving it. A little touch up there. He's got to put all the T-nuts in still. We would have already done that, but they literally just came in the mail about 30 minutes ago while we were doing this. But it's sturdy. He can climb up there and do all that. Also, he's going to paint the back to protect it. But check it out. This thing is huge. All right, here we are back here again day five everything's been touched up everything that wasn't painted is now painted back even got a coat to protect it and the t-nuts are installed this thing is good to go All right, guys, that's how it's done. Start to finish. Crash pads in place. Got a nice little crimpy root that kind of goes up to the top. A purple root, nice and easy, finger pockets. White and blue root kind of traverses over and goes up. And then yellow is a cool dyno from these two up to the big jug last hold at the top and in the next couple days he's got a lot more holds to go on a couple of different roofs he can put up and with that this project is done all right five days a 
couple of hours each day. They weren't consecutive days. We took a couple breaks here and there. But that's all it takes. Just got to put in the work. Anybody who watched this video all the way to the end, thank you. Not many people do that. All right, hopefully this video helped you out somehow, gave you a motivation to do it, or a little tidbit here and there that will help you. Good luck, guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.